Good morning, this is Pastor John, and the title of my sermon is, Are You Truly Following Jesus Christ? I uh, take my uh, sermon from the text in John 6, 64 to 71, where it says, But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, saying, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, have not I chose you twelve, and yet one of you is a devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. Amen. My question to you is this. Are you truly following the Lord? Is he truly the Lord of your life? Um, a few days ago, I put up a sermon about holiness and uh, how disappointed I've been in some people who uh, are not walking after the Lord. Um, it's a hard and a rough road to walk, but it's one if we are a Christian, we must walk. We have to make a decision in our mind. Um, are Jesus' words too hard for us to follow, or are we just too weak in the faith to follow them? We have to put Jesus Christ first above all and his teachings first above all. The world must always be second. Even here on Facebook, uh, some people make Facebook their world. They uh, post 100 things a day, they're consumed by it. Oh, I see this, I gotta post this. Oh, I see that, I gotta post that. We're not called to do this. We're called to draw unto the Lord in all ways. There's too much worldliness in people today, uh, too much wanting to be in the world, too much wanting to be accepted by the world. We have to draw away from these things, and if our minds and our hearts are truly with the Lord, He is the one that we should seek and desire. As Peter told Jesus, where else are we to go but to you? You are the Holy One, you are the Son of God. If that isn't enough to stir your heart and to uh, want to draw you unto repentance and draw you closer to him. I don't know what else could be. Uh, also, as Christians, uh, we speak what's, in with our, what's within our hearts. We speak what's within our minds, what the Holy Spirit puts into us. If we're sitting there and we cannot accept the words of Jesus Christ uh, to bring calm and peace into our hearts, then we're not his. It's pretty true and pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> there's an old test that people take when uh, they become Christians. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but just sit back and talk to your friends, your former friends, and ask them, do you see a change in my life? Uh, and if they can't say that they see, they see a change, there is no change. Uh, your whole uh, countenance, your whole appearance must change when Christ enters into you, your whole attitude. If uh, your old friends and your new friends are not seeing any change within you, there is no change, and you're fooling yourself and you're being deceived by the devil. Um, if you're not willing to seek after Jesus Christ with all your heart, soul, and mind and to give him your life totally, then you're not worthy of the kingdom. It's like Jesus said. Um, nobody can come to him except the Father has given them unto him. And he knows who are his and who are not his. I want to always be one of those who lead people to the Lord. I want to be a good example. I try with all my heart to be perfect, to be holy. Um, I uh, fail many times, as I said in my sermon, but I'm going to keep it trying. And... Um, the closer I draw unto him, the closer I'm going to bring others to him. So it's very important to me. I want to be a good witness for him. I don't want to go out and um, be telling people uh, 
one thing and then doing another. Uh, I made a comment to my wife Paula this morning uh, on uh, one of the comments that she made on my post uh, how we want to look so holy before people and uh, you know appear unto Jesus that we are following him. So anytime we have um, a disagreement with somebody or um, something goes wrong in our lives, we go up to them and we're, you know, cursing them out and uh, screaming about this and uh, the injustice we're going through when uh, it was just a mistake or something or uh, a misunderstanding that uh, we take the whole wrong attitude with. And then after um, blaspheming the Lord, we go sit down and we uh, say a prayer unto him. Uh, what kind of witness is this? What kind of witness is this to the world? I don't know. You know, <clears throat> it's a shame because we ought to be so excited within our hearts to know Jesus Christ as our Lord and to have him living in our hearts knowing that if we died this minute, we would go to heaven. We would be with him. We would be reunited with all those who went before us. As it says in the Bible, um, Abraham was gathered unto his people. Um, what a joyous day that will be when we uh, are reunited with our friends and loved ones when we are in the presence of the Lord. This is something we all ought to be living for, all ought to be striving for. Where else can we go but to Jesus Christ? He is the way, the truth, and the life, the only way to achieve this. In my life, I always want to be working towards that goal um, each and every day. Each and every day I will wake up, I tell God, give me the strength to carry on, Father. Give me the strength to get through this world. And um, there's going to come trials. There's going to come tri uh, tribulation. There's going to come circumstances. Everything Satan throws at us is to work against us in our walk with the Lord. But those who are truly his will overcome these uh, circumstances, will rise above them. I mean, even today, um, I got two tablets and you put them both together, they wouldn't equal a half a tablet. And uh, I'm trying to respond to everybody here and uh, that's just the way I am. And um, typing in and it's not working, it's kicking me out, it's saying your page is expired all of this stuff, and I just said, Lord, if you want me to preach here on Facebook, if you want me to minister unto people, you gotta make this work, you gotta um, make this happen. And I try my best to reach everybody, and I hope I do. I try my best to put something up every day to uh, encourage you, to show you the ways and the love of Jesus Christ for this is heavy on my heart in these end times to share the word of the Lord with you, to share his love for you, um, to share his love for the world. I don't want to feed you a false gospel. I don't want to tell you, um, draw unto Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And then you catch me um, friending uh, pornographic women or um, putting up um, posts with swear words in them or um, saying, well, you know, everybody does it today. All the Christians do. There's no harm in it. Uh, the Lord knows my true heart. Well, you know, out of the mouth comes your true heart. For where your treasures are, there is your heart also. If your treasures are in this world and the things of this world and um, the, uh, I hate using the word celebrities, because there's only one celebrity, that's Jesus Christ, in my opinion. But, you know, all of these people that we follow, we got to dress like them, we got to act like them. Is this part of your world to talk like them? I don't want anything to do with this world. I'm a simple man. I dress simply. I uh, try to use simple words and uh, do the best I can to relate to you the gospel of Jesus. This uh, is my calling. This is my heart. Um, as Peter said, where else can I go to find the words of life? And uh, but to Jesus Christ.
So all glory and honor and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, please don't let this world um, make you into something that Jesus doesn't want you to be. Please don't uh, make Facebook into something that he doesn't want it used for. You know, there's more quality in one quality post, speaking your heart to people, uh, writing, writing what's in your heart, than copying a hundred um, glossy pictures and sharing them with people. I mean, this is a busy world, and I have a lot of friends, and I try to get to them all, and I'm uh, sorry that I don't have time for that. Uh, I don't have a lot of time for news feed anymore, or you know, uh, we got to earn our daily bread. I try to donate as much time as I can to spreading the gospel, but uh, I know I come up short a lot, and I ask your forgiveness for this. I just want to be a man of God, a man after God's own heart, a man who points the way to Jesus. If I give you five minutes a day, I want that five minutes to be all Jesus, nothing uh, um, that reminds you of this world. So um, I'm asking you today, is your heart right with Jesus Christ? Are you truly his? Do you really feel um, the Holy Spirit within you? Um, are you truly born again? For the Bible says, uh, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And Nicodemus asked Jesus on this, how can that be? How can a man enter his mother's womb a second time? And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit. Do not marvel that I say unto you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it will. You hear the sound of it, but you don't know whence it comes or whether it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. For God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, Jesus Christ. That whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God did this not to condemn the world, but that the world may be saved through him. And um, I just want to point the way to him. I just want to um, not be an embarrassment to him in any way. I don't want to go into a food place and cuss somebody out and then uh, go sit down and say a prayer over food. What a hypocrite I would be. So um, if any of you have any questions or, um, you know, this has touched your heart where you want to sit down and think about, you know, where your direction is in your life, where you're heading to with the Lord, um, is your walk right with him, how you can draw closer to him, please message me. I'll get in touch with you as soon as I can. Um, till then, this is Pastor John checking out, saying, I'm praying for all of you and uh, all of you. God forgive me for my language sometimes. I don't know my vocabulary, I should say. Checking out, saying peace, love, and joy. Talk to you later. God bless you all.